Okay, so cancelling can, cancelling beliefs and um, and Hawkins' teachings. Um, we do this in the group, uh, and I shared it in, in my talk. Um, lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles. Uh, when you sort of say, uh, it sort of says like, with Ill don't just say God did not create illness, it's not real. Say God did not create cancer. Um, it's, not, it's not real. Thanks. So, um, to, be, to be specific, in deleting these things which the you know the identified ego is holding on to so and also Hawkins gave his own version which is like I cancel my belief in cancer I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind so we we in the group do both of them um, you know uh, canceling belief, canceling beliefs or, or lesson 14 God did not create it I, I let go of uh, three major illnesses uh, just saying, like, I cancel my belief in kidney failure, I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind, or God did not create kidney failure, it is not real. This does not exist in the infinite light and love of God. No, no such thing as duality, or cancer, or kidney failure, or any ailment exists. And Hawkins recovered from 23 illnesses, and I've recovered from three illnesses myself. And it's the total thing that this whole world is an illusion, and if you buy the negativity in this world, you, be, you experience yourself as being limited and subject to the limiting things you're holding. So if I experience myself as a limited body, and I believe in cancer, in kidney failure, in asthma, then that's my experience. But if I just say, God did not create it, it's not real, I cancel my belief in this limited idea of kidney failure. I am the infinite, I am the limitless eternal witnessing state that's here in this room. That this, I, I do not experience myself as being limited. So if you just keep doing that, then my experience is all these limited, um, limited illnesses left because they don't exist. They only exist in the identified collective nightmare of this reality, of the, well, reality, of this illusion. So, uh, now Hawkins says with the field of feel, what I call the let, his letting go, I call it the field of feelings practice, don't label. Don't label anything. And he talks in great depth that uh, when you label something, you can, you can energize it with great power. And that is a belief. So if someone says, uh, someone says asthma, and you pick that up, and you start repeating and believing it, then you're capable now of expressing asthma, because you just picked that up. So, uh, so once you... Once you transcend things, once you transcend things, it's <laughs> interesting. It's, uh, once you, <laughs> once you, there, may be, there, may be, there may be resistance to when things go out from the ego. Um, once, you, once you transcend things, you, know, you no longer hold that as a, a significant identified form, and so it can't manifest. Uh, so in the, field of, in, in the letting go process, let's say, then you wouldn't, I, you wouldn't label or identify with any thought and give it the power to, to manifest. And that would be the practice in the letting go field of feelings, like just allow everything to be as it is, allow all feelings to arise and let them be, and do not put any labels on anything. But in, the, in terms of if you've already got something manifested, like, you know, I, I, you know, like um, um, I had gout attacks, uh, it's, you know, a horrific pain in the feet, that's already here. So not labeling it, you know, I cannot label it. But uh, for me, there's going to be great progress in actually saying, I cancel my belief in gout. I'm an infinite being. God did not create gout. It is not real and vanish it in light over and over again. So I'm deleting something that's already heavily manifested mm -hmm. in me. Uh, also, though, the letting go process of not labeling and just feeling it out would also work. So they're different. They're two different angles. Mm -hmm at getting to the same place. I wouldn't say, I would say, and they can both be used. Like throughout the day, I cannot label anything, but you know, for 10 minutes I can say, God did not create gout, it's not real, or I can't my belief in gout, I'm an infinite being, and then just forget about it, and just not label for the rest of the day. To not really lay, when you label something, it's done with identification. Just having a fleeting thought that passes by in the observer state, usually is not, not, a, not a thing. And as you let these 
heavy identifications go, they start to, uh, in my experience, they, they start to vanish as well. Yeah. Just there are two different techniques, really. Yeah. And for one, you, you're specific, and for another, which is letting go, you try not to label or categorize and just stick with the sensation. That's right. That. With the letting go, there, there's no labeling. <clears throat> um, so when I would have my gout attacks and the feet would swell, I'd do the letting go process, the feel the feelings. So don't label gout, in the, especially in that, you're not labeling gout because you're energizing the thing. So don't say, oh, I've got gout, oh, this is really awful. Just stop identifying with any thoughts. Just allow the sense, it's not, even a, it's not even a pain, it's just a sensation. It's not even a sensation. It doesn't need any label at all. What about in the foot? Well, that's a label as well, you see. So you're letting go of the label of location, you're letting go of the label of illness, you're letting go all that, and it seems as you let all these labels go and just allow what is to be, everything starts to evaporate and starts to become more non-localized and eventually uh, pass. You know, I could go from, in the early days, I went from horrific pain in the feet and I'll just be with it, not label, just allow what is to be, because as soon as you identify with thought, there's a you and the pain. You see, if you don't identify with thought, there's just the sensations or the energies. And if you don't label it, it's not even pain. And if you don't label location, even location starts to dissipate. So then it becomes more and more like a jelly, instead of just a pain in the foot, you see. And the pain in the foot for me is when you think, and then location, and then foot. So you just let go of those labels, it starts to dissolve, and it starts to become more and more like fog. And then eventually you end up, it took four hours in the early days, and then the attacks got less and less frequent, and then I was discharged from the rheumatology clinic. You see, so that, that was the miraculous, which is that God did not create, in, in truth, God did not create a world of separation and nightmares. That is not God's, that's, you have to identify and, and, and create these things from the level of the ego. That would be my thing. It's a, it's a really good question. Thank you.